My name is Ray J. Singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. I'm excited. Ray J is gonna love everything about me. Some girls do maybe rate themselves, you know, a 10, an 8, a 9, even a 5. But I'm above all that. I'm a freaking million and 20,000. Like, I got this in the bag. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I wanna be with Ray J because he's so cute. Like, oh my god, he's exactly my type. Like, he is, whew. Like, I love him so much. Like, I love him. How old are you? 21. Wow. So, where did Rome is? I want Ray J so bad, I can already taste his lips. And once he kisses my lips for the first time, he's not gonna wanna kiss anybody else, trust me. I mean, I don't wanna just toot my own horn, but beep beep. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to get Ray J. I'm gonna go in, get my man. None of the girls are my competition at all. I don't get starstruck anymore. I was used to date Tyson Beckford. He is hot on camera. Oh, off camera. That, you used With to date him like all his clothes off. Oh my god. You want to tell Ray? You used to, they probably friends. I have nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the right girl for Ray J because I attract celebrities because the way I carry myself even when I go out and I can't help it. <laughs> We pull up to this house and I see little B standing there and I'm thinking, oh my God, he's so cute and I really want his shirt. I see a beautiful mansion like this. I'm like, wow, this is just like MTV Cribs. I'm like, am I on MTV Cribs? Hey ladies. Hi. How you guys feeling? Good. I see Lil B and I'm, I can't believe that it's really happening. I've seen her on TV, so once I see her, it feels really like real and exciting. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm Ray J's god sister, Lil B, and I'm the one here helping him choose one of you lovely ladies. And by the looks of things, this is not gonna be easy. <laughs> Ray J's mansion is hot. Ooh. You guys are going in there. Kick your shoes off, get comfortable, relax, get ready, because it's about to go down. <laughs> go knock yourself out. <laughs> this house is amazing. I love everything about it. The furniture, the paintings, like the pool, the jacuzzi, the big spacious kitchen. <laughs> like everything is beautiful. <laughs> we just each pick a bed, we sit on the beds, we don't move, we claim this room as ours. Yes! We found more! Oh! oh I want this yeah. I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this is me. I'm the bottom. No, I'm the bottom. No, 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 no. You're the bottom. When I was rushing to the bedroom, I saw the bed. I'm like, I'm on that bed. And this girl out of nowhere was like, no, that's my bed. I'm the bottom. I'm the bottom. No, 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 you know, I'm trying to be nice, keep my composure, but this bitch really needs to move out of my fucking bed. You stay here, I stay there. This is mine. I will take off my shoe. We don't even have beds, and there's drama already. So, yeah, it's crazy. In the bar. Hell yeah, let's go, let's go. So as soon as I walk in, I spot the bar, and I don't even care about my room, and I am ready to party. I want a drink! Pineapple juice. So the party just starts immediately, and I am a big party girl. I just love to have fun. I love to party a lot. <laughs> Go cause some drama. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? 21. Me too. We're the yes, only 21. Okay, we're the babies. We're yes, the babies. We, no, we're we the really babies. are. What year though? 88. I'm 87. Yeah. So, so you're I'm older. So I'm the baby. You're the youngest. I'm the baby. I'm the baby. I should have gotten my bed. 21. We're both 21, but my birthday is October. Hers is and March. Mine is next year. It's hot. The girls, they're young. They're not sure who they are. Younger girls don't get it. I'm 32, and I've been there. I've done that. So I, I, I know. It's hot. It's hot. 
How old are you? Now she didn't tell. She didn't tell us. She said she's older than us. Oh. Why? But at least she don't look. Oh. Who do you think is going home today? Let's be honest. It's like up in the air right now. I want all of them to go home. I have to tell you something. Don't look behind me, but she was like on the car ride talking about how she used to date Tyson Bedford. Okay, Tyson Bedford. Now she's trying to go to RJ. She's here to show off. She's here to show off and find over time. Yeah. So I find out this girl dated Tyson Bedford, and I'm looking at her and I'm like. Get her the hell out of here. Hey, get those bitches out of here. These girls, they start taking lots and lots of shots, looking dumb, and Ray's not even here yet. Woo, tipsy topsy, tipsy ta tasty wasty in the house. I would just think that you'd want to be in good condition to meet him because first impressions are important. I want a bit Go to the backyard. Boom! What? There they are. Oh shit! Ow! Ow! Yo! Oh, is that right? <laughs> so Ray comes out, and at first I'm like, a deer in headlights. I don't know what to do. And I zoom over to him. I'm the first one that races over. Oh my god! Oh, baby girl. When Ray J showed up, oh my god! I'm like, whoa! Mmm, -hmm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> God, that's right. Ooh, he, well, he's shorter than I thought he'd be like. He has sex appeal, you know? Minute, let me just let me just look at y'all for a minute. Damn. When I first saw the girls, I thought, yeah! Yes. 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 Mm. It was so many hot women. Mm. Ladies. What up? What up? What up? Y'all looking, y'all looking real good. I just want to say that. I'm happy y'all here on this journey with me. You know, maybe one of y'all out there for me, we can make a real strong connection. I got a little sexy dinner I set up tonight. Right in the back. We're gonna get to know each other, talk. So let's make a toast. <laughs> I really just had to just stop the ladies in their tracks and just really let them know how I felt. I'm excited, and I got something real special for y'all. Everybody have a seat. Ladies, yes. This is so pretty, like our champagne glasses and the salad and the candles, and I'm just like, oh, like Ray really knows how to treat us. I feel like Barack Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Now, before we even just start laughing and joking, Let's just get it straight out in the forefront right now. Well, y'all know I've been here before, right? So I'm gonna straight up just get it out the way so we all have an understanding. The first girl I chose on season one was Cocktail. And, and I feel like Cocktail is a great person. Not still my home girl, but I felt like she wasn't the best girl for me. And this time around, I, I, I feel like I want to find that girl that's like perfect and we can connect together all the way around the board, just not the best girl that stood out in the house. So, you know, we're going to do it again, but I hope, I hope we do it right. I think last season he got caught up in the, the fun part. Cocktail was a real fun girl, you know. But I think this season, I think he's going to be looking for a little something on the conservative side. Y'all good? Mm -hmm. I think it's time to get this thing popping. Yes. I think it's time for us to really figure out what y'all names is gonna be. <laughs> I gave them nicknames. Again. Little B. Little B is in the building. She's gonna be helping me out, all right? Okay. So we gonna start with you, beautiful. Baby girl, red dress. You looking good? Yes. Um, on your, on your necklace. Um, uh, um, um, luscious. I like luscious. Luscious it is, girl. Luscious, all right. Luscious. Yes. She just look like a piece of bubblicious bubble gum. You just want to chew it all day. You know what I'm saying? Luscious. 
All right, put that luscious bracelet on her, Lil B. All right. Damn, girl, all that. Jingle Woody. Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. Let me try to name Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells because of my boobs. No, I'm not standing for Jingle Bells. No. Jingle Bells is hot. Bells. What about gifts? She likes gifts. gifts. She likes gifts. Gifts. Yeah. All right, gifts. Yeah. You good, gifts. Go ahead and relax. Mm. I'm Layla. Damn, Layla. I'm from Cape Verde, African. I have my unique style. I'm different. Different here and different everything. Then Exotica then, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let me get it. That's what it is, baby. Who wants Exotica? That's the stripper's name. Coming to the stage is Exotica. All right, what's up, baby girl? Small, what's up? You looking hella good. For the most part, all of these girls is hot. So I'm trying to find some sexy names this time. What about Platinum? Yeah. Platinum. OK, Platinum. Big Charger fan. Big Charger, Charger, Charger fan. fan. We're going to call you Diego. Yeah. I like to dance. Hip hop, a little bit of break dancing. But you like the pop lock? I do like the pop. Popper. 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 Not too big, not too small. Just right. What y'all think about Just Right? Just Right. Heartbreaker. Because she got a heart right by the, um, you know, that area. She got breaker under. Heartbreaker. It's fine with me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, ratings me heartbreaker. I totally knew he was going to pick something, like, that great, and he did. My name is Charmisa. I've been a cheerleader for 16 years. I like shopping. I'm a choreographer. I like poetry. Anybody got a chance to, to, to talk? Because I, I want the girls to give me input on Extra. 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 She's like... Extra, extra ugly. She's extra horrible, extra ghetto. So the name is right there. And it fits you for real. Oh, extra? Yeah. All right, extra it is. Extra? Extra it is. OK, that's cool, because I am an extrovert. You know, I am extraordinary. So I mean, it's very fitting. Are you an expensive kind of girl? Can you make anything look name brand, or do you need the name brand? Anything looks designer on me. All right, flossy it is. Flossy. Come on, man. It don't, it don't snow in Cali. Flossy. What about lava? Lava. Lava because you hot. Lava it is, baby. Go on and on it, because that dress is just, mm. I'm Latina. You Latina? What about Caliente? <laughs> caliente is so hot, no. When he say Caliente, but in Spanish, it's like, uh, do you want sex all the time? <laughs> Caliente. Caliente. That means so hot. Looking good, Caliente. Thank you. All right, baby girl. My turn. Yes, it's so Crazy. 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 Party. Baby, that's party. She's a party. The minute I met her, she started hopping on the table, backing it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, baby, slow down. It's going to be a time and a place for that. Damn, you seem like you a whole lot of trouble, baby. What about trouble? Trouble. You seem like you a whole lot of trouble. I'm from the islands. I'm from Hawaii. Paradise. That's what you want to be called? Paradise or what? <laughs> Paradise. I do have a Paradise, and I know he wants a Paradise. Oh, I get it. Like a pair. A pair of D's. Pair of D's. <laughs> I get it. I'm Hannah from Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm tipsy, OK. <laughs> Ray is like sexy, classy, and tipsy is a drunk bitch and, you know, trashy. What about tipsy? No. Tipsy. tipsy. We like it tipsy, baby. So I stand up, I say like three words, and he's like, oh, you're Tip, like your name's Tipsy. I'm like, great, he thinks I'm drunk, <laughs> which, I, which I am. Definitely, what's your name, Judy? My name is Mikaela, and I'm from Texas, and now I live in DC. So this next chick, she stood up right. Mm. She was sweet, she was, she was adorable. Adorable. <laughs> adorable. Adorable. Okay, thank you. And where you from, baby girl? Jacksonville. Jacksonville Jaguar. Jaguar. I like Jaguar. Jaguar. Yeah. That's, cute. That's sexy. All right. Halle Berry, stand up. You hey. resemble Halle a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Can I call her Miss Berry? I like it. Miss Berry. My name is Allison. I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh, you Italian? Yes. Oh, wait, spaghetti. You like fettuccine, baby? 
Fettuccine? I don't really like that. Fettuccine, more like gold digger. You know what? More like fettuccine. I like fettuccine. Fettuccine, baby. I love fettuccine. You gotta be kidding me. Fettuccine? I, I wasn't feeling it. All right, so we got all the names. Without further ado, I want to have some one-on-one -on -one time with y'all because some of y'all got to go home tonight. Without further ado, I want to have some one-on-one -on -one time with y'all because some of y'all got to go home tonight. I hate that it has to happen like this, but now we can all get to know each other. So let's have one-on-one -on -one time. Um, I want to start with Caliente. Caliente, she's one of the oldest girls in this house, but I will acknowledge she is hot for her age. Come on, Caliente. It's a mandatory that I get this one-on-one -on -one time with him. I called Caliente first, and we moved off by the cabana, and there we started talking. Tell me about yourself. Yes, I work for Playboy. You work for who? Not a Playboy. Playboy? Oh, like the magazine? I work in body painting. Who? Body painting. You got one? Listen, Caliente is from Argentina. Okay. So, no understanding. Body painting? Body, border body painting. painting. Oh, body painting. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said border patrol. I'm like, <laughs> what the you don't I gotta, understand? You gotta, no, I do, but the way you're doing it is just so sexy. Like, <laughs> I don't understand sometimes. Even if uh, Ray doesn't understand, uh, too much when I talk. I wonder he really see that I try. Okay, I teach Spanish, you teach me English because Absolutely. my English is so bad. I'm gonna teach you the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I like talking to Caliente, but I didn't understand what I was talking about, but I kind of liked it. I like the vibe. I like when you talk. I like when me. you talk, because <laughs> I'm trying to understand it. I like when, when you say, What's up, baby? That's what's up, baby. <laughs> Caliente. Mm, that's just something sexy about you. Mm. Man, it's a lot of girls around. Girls everywhere. Here, there, in the pool, out of the pool. Some on my arm, some on my shoulder. Some young, some a little older. Everybody wants some of my attention. Can I start off by giving you a hug? Because I really anticipate you. Do you know what relaxes me? He's dancing. Do you want to see a dance? Mm -hmm. I finally get a chance to get with Ray, and immediately I give him what he wants. Hey! Oh my God. This girl started traveling Ray Jane. I have never been in such an uncomfortable position in my life. Hey! Oh! Boom! To be so little. You're doing so much big things. That's what I'm talking about. When I see Extra doing her splits and stuff, I just thought it was a little bit over the top, kind of childish. And I think, you know, Ray needs a woman. So tell me about y'all. What's up, y'all? Y'all got kids? Is that I, a perk? I have two. That's what's up. Represent. I have two kids. Oh. <laughs> Why are you going to have us up on here telling our age? The weird thing about this is they don't want to tell me how old their kids are because they don't want to expose how old they are. Y'all ain't saying, I'm not how old are y'all, how old are the kids? Today's my daughter's birthday. She's 12. Oh, okay. Aww. Really my son is nine. My daughter is, my daughter is eight and my son is 14. There we go. My baby boy. I had to get it out of y'all. <laughs> um, how do you feel about, like, single mothers? Like, what's your... Yes, I was married, you know, got married really young. The divorce was finalized the day before I got here. So now I'm just like, so ready. I'm ready for love. My sister's single mother. Right? I've dated women 43, 45, ask. almost 50. Y'all young to me, stop it. I ain't gonna ask y'all age yet. <laughs> I think I made a small connection. He sees that I'm more than just, you know, a piece of meat. So I'm trying to get to know you just as much as you're trying to get to know me. Absolutely. Yeah, I just started talking to him, so I'm um, now. I know, but you know, <laughs> you can wait for three minutes. He's stressed <laughs> out, so let's go to the hot tub. Mm -hmm, right here. Bye bye. What? Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? I finally get the chance to get Ray. And then Exotica comes up and is trying to 
pull him. And I'm like, uh-uh. No, ain't no bitch about to come in here and take my man. She really was just all talking I need to me. is two oh, minutes. Okay. That's really all Give I need. Give me one second with her. Okay, okay. Just post we'll right wait. There, we'll wait. Whatever you want to do, right? I really just want two minutes. I know. Like, give me a minute. Right. Give this girl a minute real quick. Diego pulls me to the side, and she wants to tell me about something important. And I'm thinking, OK, cool. Let's go vibe. OK, so I have, like, a passion for music. I don't have to sing at all, but I love R&B. And I just want to know your top five R&B artists of all time. What would you say are your top five R&B artists of all time? My top five R&B artists? Yeah, of all time. Um, Diego, let's go really talk about something deep, something that I feel like is going to help us connect. This chick wants to talk about her favorite five R&B singers. That's really all I listen to. What would you say are your top five R&B artists of all time? So many greats. I'm definitely curious what kind of his top five R&B artists are. Like, are we gonna have a connection? Are we not gonna have a connection? It's kind of like, oh, this is the make or break for me. <laughs> like, Stevie, Michael, Whitney, Luther, and uh, Ray Charles. Oh, really? I'm trying to touch on that. I feel like yours is so much older. I feel like mine's kind of. Donald Jones, music soul child. I was saying DRE. That's really my music, you know? Yeah, real heavy. Okay, I feel yeah. it. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> well, I'm gonna go holler at my peoples over here real quick. We got that out the way, right? Okay. That's what's up. Come on. It's gonna be really hard for you because we all create. So what are you looking for? Because I'm just looking for like just that, just that girl. Like it ain't really like no specifics at this point. Like she can be wild, she can be crazy, she can be conservative. We just gotta like each other to the point where it, it ain't no stopping. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the midst of all of this crazy wildness that's about to happen, she gotta be able to survive. I'm kind of getting a little annoyed with these girls throwing themselves at Ray because it's not me to like fight. For a guy. I'll survive through anything for you. I know, I'll, I'll do anything. You should pick both of us. <laughs> Damn, all oh, y'all hot. Yeah. And everybody's fucking getting along. Yeah, I know. So far. Right? So, so far. Hey, hey. Have you for a Yeah, y'all could grab me. Absol absolutely. So Platinum and Luscious come take away Array. And I was kind of like, my heart dropped. And I'm just like, oh, because, you know, she's like, you know, seems like the type of girl like he likes. Where y'all from? Where you from? LA. LA. West Covina. West Covina. Born in the Philippines. I live here in LA now. Okay. Southern California most of my life. Luscious is hot. I mean, mm, 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 mm. What do y'all, what are y'all looking for? I haven't had a boyfriend in a year and a half. I haven't had sex in like eight months. So I've been celibate. Eight months? Celibate? Yeah. I'm waiting at least for a serious relationship. And So you've been celibate? Yeah. Wait a minute. You know, I respect the choice she made, and, and you know, that's all good. But why is this the first thing you getting off your chest? It's not like I'm trying to smash you on the first night, baby. Slow down. You know what? I gotta think about this. I have to ask you, you know, because everyone's wondering. Everyone's saying you went out with someone uh, famous. Oh, really? Oh, uh, uh, really? I'm sure you will not spread the word, so. <laughs> You're playing stupid. You're literally playing stupid right now. Oh, she's gonna turn her back, really? And your hair is hideous. But it's okay, I'll look at it. My hair is real. Yes, I have dated celebrities, so what? I don't really know why, but it just happens to be that I date a lot of celebrities, so don't hate. You want to sit there and broadcast who you date, and then you want to hide it? This girl is not here for Ray J. I need to tell Ray J. I need to tell Ray J. Come on, Ray. Bye, bye, Ray. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. When I got my one-on-one -on -one time, your strategy is to get rid of the girls, so I told Ray J about Fettuccine. We just want to let you know that we're, we are here for you and that there are people that are not here for you. Somebody. Chini, 
I believe, was bragging about dating celebrities. Wow. Yeah, yeah. in the car, apparently, on the way here. What was, so well, what was Fettuccine car. saying? We don't she know just exactly. just walked out of the kitchen. Even if you are a celebrity smasher, you don't got to brag about it. It just makes me question why you're here. So I'm going to just straight up go in and ask her. No, baby. Let me talk, talk to you. Come on. Oh, you want to talk today? I got all the attention for that. I just love it. Finally, Ray J comes in to get me, and I felt great at that point. Why everybody keeps saying that you with all these celebrities? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. What's up? And I just kind of felt. Is this guy like trying to like pick an argument? Like, dude. I want you to look me in my eye and tell me you here for me, or tell me what the fuck you here for. Everybody keeps saying that you with all these celebrities. What's up? So finally, Ray J comes in to get me, and he like hits me with this news where it's like, uh, I hear you're like a celebrity basher. Who you date? Who I dated? I mean, no. Who would you say you dated? We all have a past. Who you know? You've dated people in your past. Doesn't matter who the person is. That just somebody I happen to like that liked me that I was interested in. Listen, do I judge people by their past? Hell no. Nah. You know why? Because I got a past. But I'm just asking you a question. Why you got to be all defensive? Just keep it 100. That's all I ask. I just don't want you to try to play me. I'm not playing you, honey. I don't only date celebrities because you can go out there and find a guy who's rich, who's not a celebrity, who has plenty of money, who I approach and come in contact with all the time. They're hating on me. That was my past. They have nothing better to do than talk about my past. I feel bad for them. But, you know, I'm having mixed feelings about this because I didn't know if she was here for me or my celebrity. Just keep it 100 with me. I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me holler at the home. I was waiting for you to go to the pool. How you doing? I, good. You I'm looking doing good, awesome. <laughs> So Ray comes over and takes me aside for one-on-one -on -one time. And I'm kind of drunker than I wanted to be, so I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Good, how are you? You all right? So, yeah, shit, so does, does Tipsy fit the name? Tipsy fits the name, but I'm not that drunk. <laughs> like, I'm honestly not even drunk. Like, yeah, I'm tipsy, but I'm not drunk. And everybody's drunk and tipsy, you know? So she tells me that she's tipsy but not drunk, and everybody else is tipsy and drunk. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell is she talking about? You look great. Bikini <laughs> on. Just making sure everybody cool. I ain't want you to be sipping too much. No, I'm getting, not. You know I'm what I'm not saying? at all. I always try to look out for the homegirls. Yeah, I'm you know not. So I need you. Trust me. <laughs> I'm cool. not trying to like make a fool out of myself in <laughs> video. Yeah. Because, yeah, I love to, like, party and drink, but I'm not going to, like... Like, obviously, I'm here for you, and I'm not going to, like, make an idiot out of myself. Which I could easily do, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt like Tipsy was getting a little too tipsy. I'm having a hard time trying to get to know everything beyond this tipsiness. We are, we are, we are, we are for you. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yo, night's been out of control. I met some beautiful women that I feel like we got a long journey and take it to a whole nother level. But unfortunately, I got to send some of y'all home tonight. So, why don't y'all go get ready and I'm going to meet y'all at elimination, all right? Okay. All right. I am nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know that I made a good impression on him. I do not want to go home. I'm confident because I don't think these girls have a personality like me and a pair of these, of course. Yes, I have dated celebrities, so what? All these girls can hate all they want, but I'm here for Ray. We both love r and I just really help he fix me. I would really help him to keep his hits coming, to make his city the shit, to wherever he wants to buy his city, because it's the shit. And when people listen to it and they're like, hey, Ray City's the shit, you know? Like, that's what I'm here for. What's up? 
I had a fun time hanging out with all y'all today. Unfortunately, I can't keep everybody. I really feel like if I can't make a little small, simple connection with y'all in the first night, then I don't think I ever can. So with that being said, let's get started. I can't keep everybody. So with that being said, let's get started. I got 19 girls. I only got 16 glasses. It's time for me to make a decision. Caliente. What's up? What's up? I don't really know what the hell you saying yet. <laughs> we can get a translator or something. Okay. I can see it in your eyes that you straight up. I like that. So I just want to know one thing. Are you in it for the love of Rachel? See, si. I feel happy. He's my chocolate candy. <laughs> Jaguar, what it do? Come down. You feeling good? <laughs> I'm feeling you. You cool? Just push that button. All right. Miss Barry, come down. I think you hot. I think you classy. Are you here for the love of Rachel? Absolutely. Extra. Read all about it. All I can say is, damn, you did what you did, and I liked it. Listen. Splitters aren't my main focus, you know? I don't care if you can split, but Extra was really stepping it up to the plate and really trying to really get my attention from the start. Are you here for the love of Ray J? So after I get my glass, I start thinking game plan. We're gonna keep it extra, 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 all day long, all day strong. Paradise. Oh, yeah. Adorable, I think you hella cool. Take that glass, to Exotica, come here, man. With them feathers, all I can say is happy Thanksgiving, baby. <laughs> I just want to know, are you here for the love of Ray J? Claro que sí. For sure. And I feel like this is for the love of Ray J, the international edition. <laughs> Platinum, come here. You looking good. Heartbreaker, come down. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Of course. My blessings to you. We got six glasses left. Nine girls left. I'm feeling nervous right now because I'm just thinking maybe I shouldn't have told him about my celibacy. Flossy, come here. Are you in it for the love of Ray J? Definitely. People keep getting their glasses, and I'm really nervous that maybe I'm not going to get one, but I'm still hoping that maybe Ray saw something in me that would make him want me to stay. Popper, come down. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Sure. All right. Just right, please come down. I'm trying to see if you just right. You know what I'm saying? Trouble. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Definitely. All right. Coming down to the wire. Lava, could you come down? Lava gets a glass, and I'm just shocked. Lava is huge. She's a jolly green giant. She might sit on him. There's four girls up there, but I only got one glass left. I'm really not ready to go home, but at this point, there's nothing I can do. It just sucks. I want to stay here really badly. I really hope that Ray doesn't listen to all these girls because I'm here for him, and I hope that he truly sees that. I got to make a decision, and I got to do it now. There's four girls up there, but I only got one glass left. I got to make a decision, and I got to do it now. Tipsy, me, luscious, and fettuccine. You know, I'm nervous. I'm just praying to God right now, just holding my cross, like, oh, God, please. Tipsy, come down. So Ray calls Tipsy down, and I'm thinking, like, really? I feel like you sexy as hell. I feel like you cool. I wanted to see if we could pull something together, but I just felt like you just cared about the drinks more than you cared about connecting with me. I, c I can't get you this glass. Yeah, you know I think you got the wrong impression of me, but it's OK. Lessons to you. He's definitely missing out, but I mean, at least I had a great time tonight and a lot of free alcohol. Diego, come down. When you pulled me to the side, I thought that we was about to talk about some me and you. Music is my passion, but we didn't make that connection that I was looking for. Oh, yeah. 
And that's why I can't give you that glass. Yo, Diego's a real cool chick, but look, if it ain't no connection there, it just ain't no connection. Blessings to you. I wish you all the success. Oh, he's definitely missing out. If I would really been that girl to make your album sales go up, I know good music. All the artists I done named to him, good ass music. If he's gonna make a song, I'm like, hey babe, I don't like that. So I'm not gonna have it. Please believe I would have easily got his music charts up. We down at a final two. It's down to me and Luscious, and I wanna claim that glass, you know? Like, I'm not going home. My legs are trembling, my heart is pounding, and I have butterflies in my stomach. What is going on? <sighs> Luscious, when we talked, you said you were celibate, and I respect that. Excuse me? She's what? What the fuck are you doing here? Like, Ray doesn't even know what that means, okay? When you say you want to be serious, are you saying that you're going to be serious in a relationship before you ever stop being celibate? Just, I just want to know. If there's chemistry and I'm feeling it, I'm not waiting for marriage or anything like that. I cannot believe I told Ray J that I've been celibate. It brought me down to the final two. Fettuccine. You know, it's been a lot of hate in the house about you dating a lot of celebrities and that, you know, you was a celebrity smasher. And that's why I came and I talked to you about it. I just wanted to kind of look you in your eye and kind of block everything else out because we all got a pass. But it doesn't matter. What matters is, is if I could trust somebody. I don't care who Fettuccine claims she slept with. All I know is her and Ray J do not go. It's like... This big old whale in this fine ass, you know what I mean? It does not go. I'm 100% here for, for you, like you said, it really has a pass. And, you know, I was 100% real, so. All right, I, don't, I only got one glass left, and both of y'all are great girls. It's really hard for me, but. Let's just, I just got one more question for you. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Of course. Come get your glass. Don't scare me like that. So I decided to keep luscious. I feel like being celibate is a good trait for a woman trying to settle down and be in a relationship. I'm definitely going to step it up. I'm not this perfect little angel. I also have a really sexy side to me. And I think that's more of a side that he'll appreciate. Adesini, come here. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. <laughs> done, cut, done. I don't have to waste my time. I get plenty of guys. It's okay. It's all good. There's another one waiting. Let's make a toast. We got a long way to go. I want to get to know all of y'all. It's down to 16 girls, and I really didn't see any competition at all. I'm the one. I'm going to win everything. Let's keep it moving. Are y'all ready for Truthfully, I don't know if I know what love is, but truth, I've never been What is that on your leg? Fucking fever. Oh, I have blister. blister and some bullshit, because my mom had one not even a week ago. That's a fever blister? A yeah. fever blister? My mom had a fever blister. Truthfully, I was like, why the fuck, mom? Would you do this to me? <laughs> How did she get a fever blister from your mom? Because my mom had one. Genetics or something? Used, it is genetics. I get this shit all the time.